No, that stuff with Teddy Atlas was really good. Yeah, good stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was genuine, it wasn't like fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, that was a good clip of Atlas, wasn't it? Yeah, you did well, mate. Yeah, yeah. Very, very you good. good. You he was saying, yeah, yeah. people got mad at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Two hours and I must have got about four there. words out of him. <laughs> I got four words out of him. But now he was sound, man. What were you saying about? Pardon? What were you saying about? Not in uh, religion, obviously, because he's yeah. just this guy, so religion was easy. And then I was talking about his training routine. Believe it or not, we spoke about marriage as well. Um, what else to speak about? Can you even, can you do the fucking... Hell no, bro. Wrestling? Oh, no, that's mad. I know you ain't tried that. Crazy, bro. I wouldn't even try it, but he snapped my wrist. Look at that skinny my arm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he has as well. He's my number one fan. I know Kevin just put it, just ran through all the way over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, to, to win. You know what? But you can bear it if you're gonna win two more. Of course. Hit me as much as you okay. want. <laughs> <laughs> Bivol points. Home in event. Very undecided. 50-50. Eubank, yeah, it should be a walk in the park. Cameron, Liam Cameron for the upset. Let's go. Uh, very, very hard. But this, you'd say the favourite will be Sky, but obviously it's going to be a different uh, fight that she's used to, but I, I think Sky will, will nick it on points. And why do you think your boy will do it tomorrow? Why is it a listen, big upset? Listen, it's a massive upset. Ben Wick is one of the, one of the best talents in, in the world at the minute, but listen, Liam's ready for it. Um, I just believe he's going to come on and do, do his thing. Very good. You ready? The weight is not good. What? The weight can't good. Easy. Easy. Oh, just excited to fight now. Yeah, I think um, it's a, a great occasion for females in the sport to have the first female world title fighter yet. Obviously Ramblers boxed the year before, um, but to have a world title fight opens the gates, hopefully, for others to come through after them. Um, how does the fight go? I've been back and forth all week. Um, if you're looking at maybe boxing IQ, experience, the levels that they box at, then you're probably going to favour um, Sky. But there's just something about the camp that Ravens had, the confidence that she's shown, and the whispers that I've been hearing, and I think maybe there could be an upset. <laughs> My prediction for the main event, I'm going Baturbiev. I've changed it many times, but I'm sticking with Baturbiev. Maybe a late stoppage. Yeah, excited. You know, Liam's got a job on his hands, but. He's not here if he, if he wasn't confident in getting the win and, and the old team or the old team as well. So yeah, Liam Cameron win. Uh, I'm excited to see Jaya Pattaya. Um, this is my second time out in Saudi now, so you know it'd be, be good to see, see him in the ring again. Um, and I think he's a great talent. Sky Raven. Sky Raven. I think it's going to be a really good fight. Um, but I'm going for Sky Sky Nicholson on that points. You know, the place speaks for itself. You know, people speak about it all the time. Like I said, this is my second time here now, and you know, the place is beautiful. The fighters get treated like royalty, and, and I'm sure I'm going to be on one of these big cards myself. I have no idea. Mate, it's all going off. All going off. What's in your fans? I'm good, mate. How are you? How's nice things? It's a nice top. Yeah, representing. Take them with you wherever you go. Town boy, come on. Here is the former Commonwealth champion, Liam Cannonball Cameron. And now let's welcome the defending champion from Darlaston, West Midlands, England. Undefeated with eight wins, five of his eight wins.
174.6 for the challenge. One seventy four point nine to competing tomorrow in a scheduled ten round contest for the IBF Now let's welcome the defending world champion, future undisputed. One twenty-five point nine for the challenge. The same as her opponent. One twenty-five point nine for the defending world. Scale first, Camille Sheremeta. One fifty nine point twelve for Camille Sheremeta. The same as his opponent, 159.12 of the world. You better check yourself or you know we got that endo. No, I'm not a sucker sitting in the house of pain. And no, I'm not the butler. I'll get with ya and then ya taking a yak to the neck. So you better run a... the challenger Jack Massey one ninety nine point twelve for the challenger Jack one smack Massey one ninety eight point nine for the defending world One point three for the challenger Fraser thingy race. Two forty one point six. For the defending champion, Fabio Wardley! Scheduled for 12 rounds, it will be for the British, Commonwealth, and WBA International Heavyweight Championships! But I don't talk to me rough, I won't tolerate none of that stuff you're bridging is a hit. Man can't tell me, what did I say? I'll be like, hold on, did you hear? You keep talking that your bridge is a match, man, guess what, your bridge is a hit. You see, of world-class professional boxing for your entertainment. This is the weigh-in for the main event.
on the scales, the undefeated Dimitri Bevo. 174.12 pounds for Bidabiev. One hundred seventy-four point nine pounds for Bedrovia. To the stage, His Excellency, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority, Turki Al Sheikh, and here are the two fighters facing off for the final time. Undefeated versus undefeated for the undisputed light heavyweight championship of the world. Special bell will be presented tomorrow night by His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority, here in Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, a night of boxing history.